This company is trying to bring the dodo and other extinct animals back to life. But is that a good idea? You probably heard of Colossal Biosciences after it made headlines back in September 2021 for announcing it was trying to bring back the woolly mammoth and then later on this sweet tiger dog hybrid looking thing called the thalassine. Why the dodo though? Aren't they famously debated to not be the brightest? The dodo is obviously the symbol of man-made extinction. It was a combination of human hunting as well as the introduction of invasive species to the islands of Mauritius that actually eradicated the dodo from existence. Ah, I see. So what Ben is basically saying is that Colossal would be rewilding extinct animals. Rewilding is just letting nature do its thing. But sometimes humans need to help out a bit, like releasing a species back into its native environment where nature intended it to be. Those moves are good for the environment and ultimately the climate. And it's the same concept driving Colossal's efforts. For example, Ben says bringing back the woolly mammoth would hopefully restore the mammoth steppe ecosystem in the Arctic grassland, which is way more efficient at carbon sequestration in what is currently there. As for the thylacine, aka the Tasmanian tiger, with the reintroduction of the, the thylacine, you get these tropic downgrading effects when you remove a key species, specifically a predator from an environment. It's true, tropic levels or food chains in the wild are very important, like how wolves help keep deer populations in check, which in turn keeps disease carrying fleas, ticks, and other parasite populations under control. Colossal Biosciences hopes to achieve all this by using advanced gene editing techniques that allow scientists to recreate the dodo's genome and by using a living relative, like a pigeon, as a surrogate to bring the ancient bird back to life. In the case of the woolly mammoth, it'd be an Asian elephant, so it's not a 100% copy of the actual extinct animal. And we've seen something similar already happen with the northern white rhino, where scientists generated hybrid rhinoceros embryos in vitro. But this kind of science takes a lot of money. Since launching in September 2021, Colossal has raised $225 million in total funding. And to those thinking, why don't they just put those millions of dollars into conservation efforts for animals that are currently alive? Well, according to Ben, we're not taking money away from those channels. We're actually bringing new technologies, investments from new categories into it. What Ben is basically saying is that Colossal believes its tech could be used to save current living species from extinction, including us, which does sound like a good investment. This research has been going on for decades now, and Colossal could reach a breakthrough around 2028, according to Ben. While it's great to know this venture is not as sci-fi as it sounds, I still have a decent amount of skepticism and concern. Like, is it ethical? Will we ever see flocks of dodos and herds of woolly mammoths just roaming the planet again? And could this technology develop fast enough to help conserve rare species before they go extinct? Time will tell, but what do you all think? Is bringing back extinct animals a good or bad idea?